And breaking out for President Trump's new plan to immediately send members of the National Guard to help protect the border with Mexico. We're learning Guard troops could be heading to the border as soon as tonight. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garman. And I'm Sarah Donchi. The news coming in just the past hour as the president is expected to sign a proclamation. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum joining us live from the newsroom with more. And Joel, our state already has National Guard troops along the border, so what does that mean for them? Look, Sarah, this is different, at least different in terms of who is now ordering the deployment. It's the federal government. That's what Governor Abbott says. The Trump administration is mobilizing troops in an effort to tighten border security and it appears they're not wasting time with this plan the Department of Homeland Security and the Pentagon are coordinating this effort on the federal side and appointment is already gearing up guard troops could begin heading to the border as soon as tonight President Trump has been frustrated by a lack of funding for a border wall and this appears to be his answer but the Homeland Security Secretary is highlighting that this is being done in cooperation with Governor Abbott we will do it in conjunction with the governors. I want to be very clear, this is Title 32, so the governors retain control of the National Guard within their region. So I'm not going to get ahead of them. Uh, the ones that I have spoken to understand our urgency, our request. Uh, the National Guard understands the urgency and the request, so we will do it as expeditiously as possible. Okay, so just minutes ago, Governor Abbott released a statement about this decision, saying in part, today's action by the Trump administration reinforces Texas's longstanding commitment to secure our southern border and uphold the rule of law. And I welcome the support. How many troops, where are they headed, what will they be doing? Those are details not publicly outlined today. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.